today we're gonna make an old greenhouse alive again, or better yet, great again. Anyway, we're gonna retrofit an old greenhouse here at Pangburn High School. And uh, here's some before pictures. Now this can be done uh, you know, in a garage or shed, inside, outside, it really doesn't matter. The growing systems work just about everywhere. So without any further comments, here we go. Here at Hangburn High School. Uh, the Ag Department, they've had this greenhouse for how long has it been here? 15 years. 15 years. And it wasn't in real good working condition, basically, the last few. Last four years. Using it for storage and things, and yes. maybe, et cetera. So, we retrofitted all these grow systems into this greenhouse. It worked out really well. Okay, so just a quick overview. We've got um, aquaponics here. We're going to create about 50 tilapia in this. And we've got the filter pour, aeration, and two grow beds of gravel. And uh, this works off of one, one pump. And it's all gravity fed. Really, really efficient. And things grow like weeds. Even the weeds grow like weeds. But anyway, there's not many weeds in here. So, uh, so then we have trough system and fertilite and fabric pots right along in here. This is all manually done, but it doesn't have to be done every day. Um, it's a wicking system. You water from the top with nutrient solutions. You can use the fish water as well. So there's multiple uses on that. You can plant anything in here. You know, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, watermelon. We were just talking about watermelon. We do that works really well. Go back over here, we got a couple more fabric pots, the bigger ones. Probably going to put a couple maybe tropical trees in or whatever you want to do. Keep the kids' interest, you know. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what I'm hoping for this project is to keep the kids interested, get yeah. the little kids started early. Uh, I'm hoping to get this, I've been talking to elementary school and second, third grade students start coming over here and watching the plants grow and see how they grow to spark your interest in agriculture from now until they graduate high school and hopefully... Yeah, and with these systems, they can take stuff home. Yes. I mean, they could do this at their house. They could do things like this, you know. That's why we want to keep everything as simple as possible, low cost as possible, so people can just do this. Um, you had, uh, was it the math and the science? The math and the science teacher, uh, both come over here, earth science teacher. Is planning on bringing his kids and keeping up with water quality this year, uh, recording plant growth as part of their class projects. So that'll get them out of the classroom yeah. and yeah. integrate into to the ag program as well. And John, the teacher, me and her teach a class together in the shop, and she's interested in this field as well. So. Yeah, because it's all about square footage square and food. values, and yes. you use a lot of math, you know, uh, the different numbers and nutrient solutions and things like that. So that's great. Well, yeah, just to get them interested in something. That's fantastic. That's why we have all these different growing methods. Okay, so right over here then we have, well, they call them Dutch buckets. We're calling them Pangburn High School buckets today. I don't care about the Dutch. The Dutch no. We're in America. We're at Pangburn. We're the Pangburn buckets. Okay, anyway, so this is a whole system like that. And each one of these has its own pump. It can be on timers. Totally automated, and we'll just be putting the nutrient solutions in here. And it's all organics. This stuff, again, it really grows like you've seen. Yes, I've, I've seen yours in our house, that really grows. And uh, so we've got a couple of row systems. We've got another one there. We've got three of these running, so there's 30 of them. Oh, there's another one over there. So we've got yes. 40 of those buckets. We get jungle in here. And then over in here, Got a row of float beds, and this is all just aeration, nutrient in it. These floats, you grow in all the different lettuces, and spinaches, and things like that. And real simple. Again, keeping it as easy as we can, the kids will pick you up. It's because it, the growth is, you can almost watch it grow. Uh, got a system over here, it's a field drain system, it's a flow and grow system. Um, the water's actually 
that's why you have to have a bigger container. You're emptying and filling these yeah. on a time. This is the one that I'm the most interested to see how it's going to work. So yeah, I think yeah. this is going to be really, really cool. And it's yeah. uh, it's a little lower, so you can go a little higher. I mean, but on these, if you're if you're you know wanting to get these buckets down, you can dig these down, bring them lower. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've done that at different spots. Okay. Then we've got a whole system right here for root crops. You say you can't do root crops in these kind of systems. Well, we've got carrots and beets and you name it. I don't and know so, about the beet idea, Randy. Uh, hey, I, I hate beets, okay? Let me tell you that right now. I hate beets. Hate beets. Hate them, okay? I, I've never had one For the record, good. I hate beets. I challenge you. All right. Okay. I'm willing to, I'm made, willing to try. She made me eat out of, yeah. out of our system. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody. Okay, I know it's going to millions. All right. um, I liked it. You liked it. It didn't taste like dirt. It was sweet and crispy and juicy. And I couldn't believe it was really deep. Huh. So, I'm interested to try it. To all see. right. Now you got you got to try one. At least try one. <laughs> and then after that, you'll after that, we'll grow carrots. And, and you go, oh, I hate it. Oh, yeah, all carrots. All carrots. Oh, I've got I've got onions going right now. And they're doing really well. So all the root crops in here. And again, it's a, just a fill, they have a uh, wick up in the bottom, and the, the uh, water supply goes on top, goes down, the water level stays about here where the drain is, and then it'll wick up so we'll always have a good, water, good, good moisture content to it. Um, we're going to be using the small rabbit pots. with the perlite and you'll be able to grow a plant of small plants for sale for people. You know, you said something about doing off strawberries over there. You can actually yes. take them and transplant and sell this. These are so inexpensive. And we're trying to make it as easy as we can for you know, teaching, for budgets, everything else. That, that's what I was really interested in is keeping the cost down for for a budget and but at the same time letting the kids have us much opportunity to have fresh vegetables to eat because that goes right along with our school lunch program right. and our healthy healthy snacks that we've been trying to give the little kids and my goal is to let some of the little the smaller kids take the fresh vegetables home yeah so they have it well i suggest eat. having a few cherry tomatoes in there no yes. candy i mean it's like candy <laughs> but you might have to have some higher because they're like all gone all gone at the yeah. bottom yeah Okay. <laughs> so, but again, they'll grow like weeds in here. So and, and uh, so the section over here will probably put like different types of plants, kind of like a showcase. Yeah, I want this to be my showcase over here. That way, when people come in, they can see it immediately, and then it captures their attention. And then as they go through the system, and they can see yeah. anything else that we've got going on. Yeah. I mean, you could put uh, one cucumber will have like 50 cucumbers. Right. Uh, a cherry tomato plant. A regular. Couple of peppers. Um, we even done an okra. An okra. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> it's, it's another weed. I think your kids are going to be. I think the kids are going to. They. I've had several that's been calling me and texting me and how's it coming and is it going to okay. be ready and so I've got several kids that's already that knows it's good that's coming so they're excited. Don't forget to subscribe so we can keep up with the progress at Pangburn High School Greenhouse because at Greenhouse Solutions. We keep it simple, we keep it sustainable, keep it affordable, and most of all, keep it real.